I kind of didn't like that like pity, sympathy, skirting around kind of thing. It's like, I know this is a very weird example, but it just came to mind. If someone has cancer, for example, no one ever wants to talk about the cancer. I mean, Hello everybody, my name is Cameron Brown. I'm the YouTube police. I am here to make sure that everyone on YouTube is conforming to the rules and not being horrible and is not hurting anyone else. A lot of people have wanted me to talk about this controversy that Ajada Jade has been in recently. And I say controversy uh, as a very amped up word. She's barely been under fire for this. Some people have had some issues with what she said in one of the videos, which we're going to take a look at later in this video. And also the nature of videos that she's been making recently. But a lot of people want to hear my opinion on things. Believe it or not, I'm not a prick. I'm going to be genuinely sincere. Before this video starts, smash the like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new today. I make hilarious videos. <laughs> so anyway, let's look at Jada J's channel. Something that kind of confuses me is how she's barely been uploading, even though I'm sure that she's on a gap year. Like, she's not doing anything with her time, you know? Like, she should have plenty of time to make YouTube videos. But that's irritating to me and a little bit confusing. Maybe she doesn't have that much of an interest in YouTube. I don't know. But pretty much, Jada Jade has made a lot of videos talking about how she's rejected from Oxford. And this is kind of crazy, okay? She got rejected from Oxford quite a while ago. I think that's the main reason why she took a gap year. Uh, I initially thought that she took a gap year just so she could reapply to Oxford, but then she made a video stating the opposite, why I'm not reapplying. She made two videos in a row on how she was rejected from Oxford and talking about it, and people think she's milking the topic for views, and, and that's completely correct. Of course she's doing that. I feel like she is probably just doing it for views. Like a lot of people are making out like she hasn't gotten over it. And to be fair, even if she hasn't gotten over from being declined from studying at Oxford, I still wouldn't really give a crap for that. You know, at the end of the day, like she obviously wanted to go to Oxford a lot and she wasn't able to. Like I understand why she would make future videos on it, but it just seems weird how these two videos on Oxford are actually made like in a row. Like, that, that just seems kind of daft. Now, it's not really the videos... What the flip? Okay, what the hell is this advert? Okay, distracting me. Uh, it's not really the two videos she's made in total. It, it's just... Now, the issue, the controversy that she's been in... She mentions how being rejected from Oxford is similar to something quite extreme. And I thought to myself, why not take a look at it? You know, loads of people wanted my judgment on it. I don't have anything against Unjaded Jade. I, I do think she's a bit... I don't really like her personality, not not because I'm a prick, but just because I think it's fake. I saw this photo of her on, on my Instagram feed, and I unironically... It's like, you know when you see your parents? <laughs> nah, like I saw this photo of her. She doesn't have a bad body, but, like, you know how it's weird if you see, like, I don't know, one of your parents, like, almost naked, or... What am I even saying? Okay, it was weird, okay? I saw that picture of her, and I was like, what? That photo seemed a bit out of her element, what the flip? <laughs> Anyway, I don't care. It wasn't it wasn't bad. I'm not against the photo, but it was just a bit of a surprise. Let's just take a look at some of their let's look at some of the comments that got triggered at her. Wow, this person said, Your skin and hair look really healthy and glowing in this. Wow, her hair was glowing? That's insane. Why does no one compliment me? I never get comments saying, Cameron, you look really good today. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't need them. Don't, no 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 no. I don't I don't need them. Love the video, but the cancer thing is a bit insensitive, Jade. Hmm. How can you compare not getting into Oxford to cancer? That's mad. I know you didn't mean it in an offensive way, but it's just strange that that's the first comparison you made in your head. I I, I wanted to side with the comments. I'm not going to lie. I wanted Jada Jade to mess up because if she messed up properly, you know, Peppa Cameron's getting the views. You know, Peppa Cameron's getting the views. But unfortunately, like, looking at the video and looking at what she said, these comments are a bit ridiculous themselves. Like, this person's kind of been patronising, like, love the video, but the cancer thing, it's just a bit insensitive, Jade. Like, it's just a bit insensitive. Like, it just seems patronising, I think. Stop using Oxford rejection to gain views, Jade. This person's trying to do the meme review, PewDiePie meme. That's hilarious. It's funny because, you know, PewDiePie makes videos on things to get views. Like, he's made countless videos talking about, you know, being ahead of T-Series and the war between PewDiePie and T-Series, which is funny. Yet, this person's clearly a fan of him, 
and is fine with him, you know, trying to do things for views. But when it comes to my girl Jade, nah, this person's triggered, which I think is just hypocritical. Girl, move on. Like, this is a bit ridiculous, okay? Did you really just compare your experience to having cancer? Well, okay, so these are the comments that we're looking at. Looking at the comments, it's obvious that they're quite against Unjaded Jade, okay? Hi guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. Firstly, the reason that I look so summery is because there's such great heating in this room that I can dress like this and still be warm in winter. I'm currently looking- Oh, that's epic. <laughs> Did Unjaded Jade just flex, like, heating? <laughs> like, I look so good and I'm wearing summer clothes because we have central heating in the house. If you're watching this video, Homeless in a tent. Screw you! I found this old jumpsuit. I've fallen in love with it again. So, okay. so <laughs> this video is a follow-on from a video I made a few weeks ago called like I was rejected from Oxford, why I'm not reapplying, how I told my friends, my family, etc. I basically just <laughs> answered loads of questions <laughs> from you guys over on my Instagram. However, there were 600 questions. Well, I can't be vegan if you guys think I'm eating an apple snack because I can't be vegan. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god! I a good apple! Oh yeah! However, there were 600 questions and I think it's such an important topic to talk about, like rejection and failure and growing and moving on from those negative events and kind of turning them into something more positive. So I wanted to do another dedicated video. So here it is, part two. If you've never seen my face before, hi, my name is Jade, I'm 18, I'm on a gap year, and last year I applied to Oxford University. It was by far my top choice, and I applied for biology. Okay, so far this video is quite good. I mean, I'm not interested in it at all. I couldn't give a crap, you know, about Jada Jade as a person. Likewise, she doesn't give a crap about me. But like, at the end of the day, like, she's not saying anything bad. I honestly see where she was coming from. I think she mentioned that she got loads of comments on Instagram, people asking her questions. And I kind of get why she made a second part, you know, for views, uh, because obviously she would gain subs from it because it's quite a popular topic. You know, people getting declined from specific universities that they desire to attend. I don't think she's really, like, obsessed with the idea of not getting in. Like, I think she's sad about it, obviously, but I think she has gone over it. She doesn't even seem sad in this video. Maybe it's a persona, but, like, I think she's just doing this as, like, a business move. Since then, I have grown a lot, I have matured, and I have gained a lot of closure on the topic. So, yes. So I'm just sat here reading these comments, and, oh, I don't know what it is. I just still, even though I fully gained closure, I just still find it hard to talk about. But we're gonna dive right in. That, that's not what closure is. <laughs> what the flip? And I, I'm gonna mention this because, you know, and it, it's just, loads of people do this. I feel like nowadays, like, if you have an issue with someone, uh, people are quick to just try not to talk to them again. They say to themselves, oh, if I don't talk to them again, they'll never give me issues again. And that we'll be able to resolve things if we just don't talk to each other. Like, for example, with me and my ex, we thought the best way to break up, you know, I say we, me. I thought the best way to break up was just to end everything, not be friends, be nothing. And then after that, we talked, we became friends. And then she was like, Cameron, I can't keep talking to you because I'm thinking about you too much. So clearly that didn't work. Clearly she was thinking about me too much. And that's why she won't talk to me again. So, like, is that the best thing to do? Like, I'm not even angry about it. I'm just kind of like, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know, this is let's hope she didn't see that part. Did Hopefully she didn't even watch this video. She, she probably won't. After being rejected. I'm not applying to Oxford, but to another one that's hard to get into. But we're going to dive right in. This is a good question from Linnea. How did you deal with people asking you about it after being rejected? I'm not applying to Oxford, but to... Fam, you messed up. The the question no oh okay she see she shortened the question okay that makes sense okay Jade got you I get you I'm not applying to Oxford but to another one that's hard to get into and I'm not looking forward to people asking if I got in and having to deal with the pity looks that is such a good question because obviously if anyone knows that you're applying to a top university then the odds are they're gonna want to know how you got on and I think that's actually one of the biggest oh, fears people have about rejection is. Not even just internal pressures, but like external pressures. So 
like reputation, having to tell people, oh, no, no, no. people who were invested in your application other than you. Personally, I never tried to like hide the fact that I was rejected. I, I don't know, I'm always of the mindset that like I'd rather just own something, people hear it from my mouth. Like I was very open about the fact that I was rejected to when people asked. People I feel like her making YouTube videos has very much promoted that. People were always skirting the topic as well when they spoke to me. Because obviously if someone's rejected, you don't want to like pry into it too much because it's a bit of a wound, you know? But I, I don't get why it requires that imagery. Who's watching this video? Like people are going to be watching this video, Jade. I know you're watching my reaction video. You're a fan of me. I know it's true. I'm messing. She probably hates me. Uh, she's definitely not watching this. But like... I, I, you know, people watching Jade's video, they're going to be smart, you know, they, they, they don't need this pathetic imagery, like, prying into a room and ripping it open, like, is that really necessary? Am I being petty? Yeah, I am, okay. I, I'm being like the comments, though. I'm trying to emulate, like, how, you know, the comments were towards her, like, quite petty about the cancer thing, and you'll hear it. But I kind of didn't like that like pity, sympathy, skirting around kind of thing. It's like, I know this is a very weird example, but it just came to mind. If someone has cancer, for example, no one ever wants to talk about the cancer. I mean, I get where she's coming from, but like, that's quite a stupid thing to say because a good, a good half of people I would say who have cancer they want to talk about it. They want to resolve it. The other half, they, they're in denial, you know? So I, I get what she's saying. Like She said that no one likes to talk about cancer and talking about prognosis and the actualities with having cancer. She's saying that no one wants to talk about them. Everyone just wants to avoid the conversation, which just isn't true. But I, I get what she's saying, you know? If that makes sense when people talk to the person with cancer it's easy to just like skirt around it and then like move on but you can feel the sympathy and the pity that is what rejection is like in some ways as well people don't want to pry into it too much but i think for me that made it worse i just don't think that's a good example <laughs> like it's not insensitive i have the utmost respect for people who struggle with cancer but at the end of the day i don't think what she said was insensitive just because, like, she wasn't ridiculing cancer. She wasn't making fun of cancer. It's just the choice of some other words. If she said, it's like cancer because most people who have cancer, they don't really want to talk about it. If she said that, that's completely fine. I would have agreed with her, and I would have actually gave her some credit for saying something quite strong, and something that is a bit, you know, wishy-washy, a little bit controversial, naturally, because it's about goddamn cancer. But the fact that she said, no one wants to talk about it, like, it, it just, it doesn't work, okay? And, that, and that's why I think people were offended uh but i think people are being over the top and i do think people are really trying to criticize her like with me like with my reaction videos on youtubers i don't criticize people that hard i normally just make fun jokes in my videos i normally make like a parody of their video i try to make fun of myself more like in this video i was eating an apple crazily like i'm making fun of myself you know mostly for me i don't get why people want to like study so badly at oxford like yeah, obviously it is a better uni than, say, I don't know, Nottingham for chemistry. I don't know. But, like, is it really that much better to the extent that you'd cry about not getting in versus getting into Nottingham? Like, is it that much better? Like, if you got into Nottingham, you'd be unhappy. But then if you got into Oxford, you'd be over the moon and you'd cry if you don't get in. Like, is it that much better? Seriously, I'm just being honest, okay? I'm sure that if you get a master's degree in chemistry at Nottingham... You know, in, in comparison to a master's degree at Oxford, I'm sure you'll be able to get the same jobs. Obviously, it is probably more for the aspect of, wow, this is a famous place, got the best people working there. But like, at the end of the day, unis are great anyway. They have loads of funding. They have good people. They're ran well. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Smash like if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new today. I'm really tired recording this video. I'm sorry. I got my last two mock exams tomorrow. They've been going really well if you've been wondering. So hopefully... There'll be some good content coming out soon.